Well, experts say that air purifiers with HEPA filtration efficiently capture particles the size of the virus that causes COVID-19. Even so, though, Dr. Patrick Ludke says you should not rely on that to protect yourself. Now, this all comes after the Springfield Public School Board approved $250,000 for air purification devices for the upcoming school year. And KZI 9 News reporter Emma Withrow spoke with an expert about air purification. I spoke with Kathleen Owens today, an air quality engineer who has almost 40 years of experience in air filtration. Owens says that since the pandemic began, air filtration system companies like iWave, which is the brand Springfield Schools chose, have quickly sprouted up. iWave claims to remove 99.4% of coronaviruses from the air. It looks promising. It's a whole lot better than not, than not having anything put out there. As of June 16th, the CDC's position is that coronavirus is primarily transmitted by person-to-person -person contact. So even if iWave's number of 99.4% is accurate, it won't protect you if you come into close contact with someone who's infected. Dr. Patrick Ludke said wearing a mask and practicing social distancing is the most reliable way to protect yourself. He also tells people to beware of cheaper systems that promise everything but can't deliver. Owen said much the same. And even though coronavirus isn't known to linger in the air, other diseases such as measles do. I said I do approve of the schools trying to take to do stuff and to do things to improve the air quality. And a lot of the things that they're actually cleaning the air, it'll it can help with other issues, not just the COVID. So that's a good step forward. Reporting in Springfield, Emma Withrow, KZI 9 News.